guys welcome back to my channel happy sunday so it is 9 54 here in georgia um the goodwill's open at 10 here i haven't listed anything in quite a few days on poshmark and i've had no sales in four days I see a sonic cut back there <laughs> but um so I figured I'm gonna go sourcing and hopefully pick up a few good items that I can get listed on Poshmark this afternoon and hopefully that'll help me make some sales because it's just been really, really slow this month for me and it's a little bit depressing because I have bills to pay. So I gotta get the ball rolling and I'm gonna try to film a little bit inside. We'll just see how it goes. There's not a lot of people here yet so it might not be too crowded and I might be able to film some, so. I'll show you what I got in a little bit. Bye, guys. All right, guys. I had to extract the volume because there was music playing in the background that I wasn't aware of until just right now. But um, I can do a little bit of voiceover for you. I started in the top section. There wasn't a whole lot here. All basic mall brands and Target and things like that. Now, I did say that Coldwater Creek um, sweater I would have purchased for Thread Up if it had been at the bins, but because it was regular Goodwill, I left it. Not too much stuff in the top section. There was lots of weird graphic tees with just funky sayings. I, that was the first of many that I found today. So the Romeo and Juliet Couture actually does pretty well on Thread Up. That's why I looked at it for a minute, but I decided not today, maybe another time. The only ones I've seen that have sold on Thread Up were dresses, so that's why I went ahead and left that behind. Um, maybe if I found it at the bins, I would experiment with it, but not when I'm paying a little bit more for it like that. So I don't really find too much other things, so I'm going to go ahead and put some music in for you, and you can just watch me scroll through and shop.
guys I just got done in the Goodwill um, it was okay today I couldn't really film too too much in there but um, I ended up getting eight items and I spent $28.92 I did have a $10 credit I got to use so my average cost of goods ended up being um, $3.62 so not bad I'm happy with that especially being the regular Goodwill store um, I actually just had a bundle purchase of three items while I was in there, so I'm super happy. Broke the four-day spell, <laughs> so I'm going to go home and get listed, and I will do a small little haul for y'all since it's only eight items, but I really want y'all to see what I got, so I'll catch you when I get home. Okay, guys, I am back home, so I'm going to do a haul for you real quick, but first I want to show you, I finally got a shelf put in my office, so I have a more organized inventory system. I these are from Ikea, so I gotta order some more. I kinda like this size better, but I don't wanna have to spend more money on things I already have, so. Eight items, and like I said, I spent $28.92. I did have a $10 credit, so that's why it's a little cheaper. But, okay, so let's get into it. Because my husband is grilling, and I have not eaten today, so I'm starving. Okay, the first item, I gotta figure out how these tie up, but I don't know. But they're these little Lucky Brand um, sandals, mules, I don't really know what you would call these. Probably like sandal flats or something. But these are so, so cute. I love finding Lucky Brand. I just really like that style. Um, but I have to be a little bit picky on the pieces I grab from them and the price that I pay for them because it won't all sell. But these are kind of small. These are a size six and a half. So who knows how fast these will sell. But if you love them and they're six and a half, they will be on my Poshmark. Okay, next are... Zara woman size extra small, which I just love picking up Zara. So that's why I grabbed these. These are very basic, but they're shorts. Perfect for summer. They're like, almost like they feel like a trouser short. They have a side zipper, high waist. I just really liked these and thought they were really cute. So there's those. Next, I picked this up to send to Thread Up. I wasn't really shopping for Thread Up today, but I just stumbled upon it. It's an Ann Taylor skirt, new with tags, retailed for $85. Um, I just picked it up because it was new with tags, and I heard Ann Taylor, not Ann Taylor Loft, Ann Taylor does pretty well on Thread Up, so I wanted to try it. But I'm now kind of realizing this might be in the outlet store because I do see two dots under the tag. But I'm still going to try it. I'll take off the clearance sticker there of $39.99 and leave the $84.99. And we'll see what I get for it. If I make $15 off this, I'll be thrilled. Um, next was just this band tee, the Beatles. It's very like durable. Like this is a good, not very cheapy t-shirt. So that's why I grabbed it. It's a size medium. I'm assuming this is a men's size, but it would fit like a little bit oversized on a girl. It'd be really cute. Like this with some high-waisted shorts or something. Banties are really in. So that's why I grabbed that. Next, I picked this up because it was new with tags. I probably would not have picked up this piece if it was not new with tags, but it's another Lucky brand. It retails for $69.50. It's just this um, extra small, like loose boho top. So I just thought it was really pretty. I really like loose tops like that. So hopefully it will sell. Next, I got, I gotta look this up because I do not know this brand. I literally just, um, liked it. Okay, so apparently it's a song. I don't know. Super weird. 
Well, I mean, I know this is a song, but like they put the lyrics in the tag, so I don't know. It says California knows how to party. It's a sweatshirt. I just liked it. Something different, so. And it is a large. Yes, a large. Okay, next. Um, I went through all the dresses and found one. <laughs> It's new with tags also. It's from Armani Exchange. Now the red tags on these means that it was from the Army Exchange store. So if you see those and don't know what that's from, that's where that is from. And they sell they sell some nice brands. So they had this priced at $109 at the exchange. Here's what that tag looks like. And I am close to a military base, so that's why this was probably there. And it retailed for $150. I've never sold this brand, so I don't know how it'll do. It's a size 10, made in Italy. It's just this pretty, like, what is that called? I can't even think of it. Racerback, I guess. Red dress. I'll see if I can find a stock photo that'll help this a lot, but it's really pretty, so yay. And then the last piece I paid up just a little bit for. It was marked at $7.99. I did get a little 10% um, military discount, so I think I paid like, I don't know. But this is a J. Jill Down vest, and it is new with tags. Now, I'm really finding that if you go down the sweater and jacket sections, right now in summertime at least definitely here in georgia where it's really hot nobody is looking down those aisles so they're not very picked over and i'm finding better items there and i'm just like you know putting them up for fall because i'm hoping to do really well in fall i feel like all my investments will pay off in fall but here's this i don't know if it'll go to um thread up or if i'll list it on posh or Macari. we'll just see i have to look at comps but it is a down vest, so that's good. I don't even know what these retail for, so I'll have to look it up. But that's my haul, and I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was kind of small. Like I said, I was just looking for a few items to put in my store to keep it moving because I've been really slow. I hope everybody has a great Memorial weekend with your family. Um, coming from a military family, it is like kind of emotional. Um, I definitely pray for all those families who have lost somebody in the military. I can't even imagine. And so I'm constantly praying that all our soldiers stay safe, but you know, it's not always like that. So just really, really appreciate what you have. So um, if you like this channel, please subscribe. It means a lot. I finally reached 400 subscribers. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Thank you guys. Bye.